Oh, hi, everyone. I hope everybody's doing good today. Thank you for coming to my session. We've had um, I think two speakers before me, and I looked at both of them. I really, really loved it. And uh, I think I went to Fedora Women's Day before once it was in Brno, and it was like three years ago. And I'm so happy to be back, and I have uh, two badges for it. Um, let me start by saying that I have not been involved with Fedora uh, so much as I used to be since I've had my uh, baby two years ago. And I really admire women who start working right away or like in three months after having a child. Well, I just, you know, tip my head to you or what do you say? Okay, and um, it's been two years, like I said, and I'm planning on coming back eventually. But let's uh, circle back to the beginning. Um, so let me introduce myself a little bit better because it's every time I come to Fedora event, I <laughs> have to remember that not everybody is a designer. And uh, uh, yeah, so I'm an interaction designer. I work at Red Hat. And uh, I started with Fedora back in 2015. Um, we had just moved to Czech Republic from Russia. And I was an out of work designer doing freelance here and there. And so I was looking for something to do. And then a perfect opportunity came up. Um, so my husband works at Red Hat, as a matter of fact. And uh, he told me about Fedora and he taught me everything about open source. And so he told me there was this design team and that's how I got introduced to Mismo, to Mo Duffy, and then later to Marie. And uh, basically they showed me everything and taught me everything I needed to know. And to tell you the truth, at first I was terrified. Uh, first of all, because I had only worked in a very, very small company in um, Russia before that. And I, it was just six people. And I literally had PTSD after quitting. I did not want to touch the computer. Uh, it was so bad. And so I was just slowly coming back. And then all these new programs and uh, new uh, software, you know, Inkscape, I've never seen before in my life. And there was the old issue tracker. And then I had never used IRC before that. I only used to work with Adobe products. Um, so yeah, I was really scared to start. And so I started contributing to Fedora. I had everything set up. And um, actually, it was not scary at all. I was so surprised to learn how supportive the community is, how nice everybody is. And you, you'll get nice feedback, first and foremost, and you'll be supported by everybody. Um, so I started contributing, like I said, in 2015. And then I think a couple months after that, there was a position uh, that opened up in Brno office for a, a Brno office of Red Hat for a Fedora designer intern. And uh, I had a couple interviews and I, I don't know, I don't remember what else I did, but eventually I got hired to Red Hat and I started working as an intern for Fedora design team. And during that, I did a lot of um, reaching out. So I, um, let's just press that. So I, for example, I did design clinics every now and then, like every two weeks, I'll book an hour. And it was uh, Mo Duffy's idea to do this. So I would book an hour and I would invite everybody in the company to just come by and say hi. And if they had any design problem, uh, should it be graphic design or interaction design or you know, user experience question, they could come by and ask me. I also did a bunch of workshops like Inkscape for beginners, for example, I did. Um, and uh, that was, I think that was for high school students and stuff like that. So yeah, and then during that time, I also helped uh, and swag for DevConf. And uh, I also had a bunch of uh, high school students work as interns for Red Hat. Okay. and. Another thing that happened to me, and mind you, this was just like an avalanche of good things happening to me. I did not expect it at all when I was just, you know, starting to contribute and drawing my first batch. Another thing that happened to me was uh, I had a lot of travel. I did not put many pictures on this particular slide, 
Oh, but just to give you an idea, I think a year into uh, being at Red Hat, um, I was invited to a Fedora activity days in Westford and uh, it was design related. I think we did badges workshops and Inkscape workshops. And then after that, I went to vlog. I think I went to a couple of vlogs and I traveled so much to so many conferences and I spoke to so many people. I even traveled back to Russia to promote open source. It was just amazing. I did not expect that at all. And so about nine months into my work as an intern for Fedora Design, I got hired to a different position at Red Hat and that was as an interaction designer at, at a different team. But I did not stop contributing to Fedora. I still attended all the meetings. I worked on uh, tickets, that being design tickets, award badges, or whatnot. I went to events. And um, I think the uh, high school interns happened after I was hired to a different position. Um, yeah, so the most important part about Fedora that I love is actually people and that's just the most inspiring crowd of people most hardworking, easygoing friendly and just all in all so lovely and supportive um i just can't even describe how much i love them all and uh like i said they will always support you if you have a question they will always answer it and uh here's a picture of everybody in krakow at block and uh, see if you can find me in there um, and also I like how inclusive the community is um, this Women's Day being the example of it and I uh, just want to say that I miss everybody so much and I hope in the post COVID times we're going to get back together um, I also wanted to talk a little bit about how open source changed my life and why I like it now and uh, what's so good about it now first of all it gives you freedom it gives you freedom to do what you want to do what you love and to do so freely and um, then it gives you passion because i think there are no people in the fedora community who are not passionate about what they do um, and that brings me to my next point which is community and the community is the most amazing thing that happened to me is all in all my people and have found so many friends. Um, then you can get experience. Like if you're a student or if even if you're a high school student, uh, you can work and you can find tickets and you can work on them and that all voluntarily. And then you can get a lot of experience and you can build up your portfolio, which is especially important for designers, I feel. And then from that, you can go on and get a job at a company that you love and you have real projects in your portfolio and it can be um, a graphic design as well as interaction design, as well as coding and whatever you want to do, you can do it. And the other thing that I mentioned is travel. Uh, so you get to travel a lot, you get to meet a lot of people, you get to go to conferences. You get to promote open source, you get to make friends, and that is all in all just so amazing. And so I have three dots down there, and that means that there's so, so, so much more that uh, working or contributing to Fedora can get you. Um, my last slide is a little bit about developers, because like I said, I always have to remember that not everybody is a designer. And then part of the job of being a designer in an IT company or in our community is working with developers. And that's something that uh, contributing to Fedora has taught me uh, to collaborate and to communicate with people who do not do what you do. And it surprised me how much respect you get even not being a coder. And also I try to promote the uh, design work among the developers because Brno is a very highly IT focused city. There's a lot of developers here and a lot of universities. And so uh, being a designer here must be tough, might be tough, but not necessarily so. And so you can work 
to learn to work with developers and educate people on it. And actually, I have to say that my journey has not been anything but pleasant. Uh, okay, so to wrap up, this was a short talk, and I really want to thank Marie to, for inviting me to do this and for bringing me to walk on this memory lane and that I want to get back to working on Fedora tickets as soon as I can. Okay, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stop sharing my screen now. I'm just gonna go back to the video and should anybody have any questions or do or discuss stuff with me, I'd love to. Hi. Hi. Thank you, that was great. Um, fun story, so I talked about Amita being my roommate for the first time. Yeah. At Flock. <laughs> my second roommate was Masha. Yeah. I <laughs> and I remember um, we had a lot of fun, but I also remember she teased me because I brought so many accessories with me. You did. But, like, I, I had, like, all of these like neck I you know I, I just that's who I am like I just accessorize and she's like yeah. wow you have like a different thing for you know all these different outfits I'm like that yeah just, just you, had a, you had a huge bag too <laughs> it was bigger than me. well I was traveling for longer than you too but yes sure. nonetheless I I find that I am um more comfortable traveling and I feel more myself you know, when I have my yeah. accoutrement. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> so I had some questions um, sure. for you. Of course, people can drop them in, in the chat if they have any. Meanwhile, I will I will ask you a couple things. I was curious, um, Nikos, Nikos, you're saying hi to you. Hi. <laughs> um, did you go to school for design or UI or mm -hmm. um, like how did you get into the design UI Oh, the UI. Okay, that, that's a long way to get there for me. <laughs> so I started to be a linguist. I did that for five years. I uh, studied at St. Petersburg University. Uh, I studied phonetics and English and French. And then in my last year, I realized that's not quite something I wanted to do. And I took a design course for a year. And then I started to work as a graphic designer, which I did for four years five years and then honestly uh, doing UI was just I guess a leap of faith for me I just started doing it <laughs> there was a position open and when I was starting I honestly told my to be manager that I have never done this before I know very little of it I've studied it but I have not done it before but he believed in me and um, yeah, that's what I started doing, and that's what I've been doing for four years, I think, now. There you go. Awesome. That's awesome. Um, giving someone an opportunity, like the, the person who hired you, just, yeah, we'll give you a shot. I think that's pretty pretty cool story. Okay, we have a question yeah. in the chat. Cool. What advice would you give to someone who is interested in learning more about design work? Fedora or more generally? Uh-huh. Learning more about design work. Just doing what you mean about design work. Just being a designer. Get into the design, um, maybe how to learn more about it or mm. start contributing to Fedora specifically. Okay. Well, to learn more, uh, my personal advice, if you have never done design in your life, like I'm a very bad online learner. Like some people can take an online course and just be cool with it. I just abandon it like a week in. So I would go to some uh, course at least a year long, you know, to just study the basics. Like if they've never done design in their life. And then from, from there on, you can just start picking up projects. But I feel like everybody's story and journey is different because People are different, so I, I, don't, I don't know. Read a book and just start doing it, I guess. Like, Marie, you were saying the other day, just just do it. <laughs> yeah. And so then, I guess, oh, go yeah. ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, so I would say that I agree. With design, having formal training 
is extremely helpful. It really is. Masha, it's impressive that you broke into <laughs> the field without that and you just on your own um, gumption. Also, you will hear me calling Maria Masha. That's just a closer term of endearment. We're very <laughs> good friends. So um, anyway, the point that I was trying to make was um, for Fedora, if you want to get involved, um, there's a few different ways. Um, and you can join um, the IRC channel, which is also accessible from Telegram and Matrix, um, and introduce yourself there and um, ask for some guidance. Say, hey, I want to help out. Um, there's a mailing list, and you would want to sign up with a Fedora account. And um, between those three things, you should get somebody's attention um, and kind of get some guidance from there. So if you specifically for Fedora, if you wanted to get involved in design, that's how, how I would <clears throat> suggest going about it. But in the design field generally, I do think formal training is helpful, especially with something like UI, UX. I think there's a lot more research tools and kind of uh, processes that you can learn to really do the best job with it. I think well, that some yeah. people have an, I think some people might have more of an innate ability to just pick up the graphic design without going to school for it. Because I think if you, you know, you maybe are an illustrator or you have some like tangential kind of hobby or something like that, you can kind of get into um, using Inkscape. There's actually a lot of tutorials out there. So if you, you want to get to design, say you don't want to use um, a, a subscription to Adobe products or you don't want to um, use them illegally. So you, you choose to use Inkscape. There's actually many tutorials out there and including some from a lot of people on the Fedora design team. Um, and so there's, there are some things you can do to teach yourself. Um, you don't necessarily need formal training to get started though I do think it reinforces a lot and there's some fields which do need some specifics. Um, so that's that's kind of my thought on the same, the yeah. same question. Well, I mean, um, for UI and UX, it's actually the most helpful thing that happened to me was watching someone else do it. So I had Mismo as my mentor for the first part of it. And just, you know, from her, from her advice, I learned a lot, a lot. So, yeah. And people are coming from different fields. Like Justin clarifies here in the comments that uh, from another field or profession, if you're coming into UX, that actually happens all the time. It's such a new field that people just, you know, jump from whatever. A lot of psychologists in it, a lot of designers, but a lot of coders come in and just, you know, and it's such a vast field feel that for some of it you might need training for some of it not and most times you just pick whatever you want to do like whichever part interests you it can be more technical less technical it can be just drawing it can be testing it can be you know designing interfaces and using html so 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 much to do like i, I love all of it i do i have a question did you design the DevConf CZ logo. All right, no. <laughs> I I don't know. I helped a little bit. Like I was committed. Did you work on the designs for DevConf? I thought I remember you doing yeah. like the design work for DevConf, but it wasn't the logo. I, no, I helped a little bit with that because it came like it came with the with the site. <laughs> <It> was, <laughs> I, I, think this, I, I was just curious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I did a lot of swag and such, so we just put the logo on, on things, and then we did maps, we did you know uh, hoodies, uh, the famous hoodies, we did signing, whatever was needed. Yeah, right. and then I think the logo changed like in 2017, 18 for the best. And, Someone else did it. Yeah. Cool. Um, what else? I had another question. I'm trying to think of it. Okay. <laughs> um, so 
you know, you had a couple opportunities that came to you and, you know, you mentioned um, your mentor a couple times, Ms. Mo. Fun fact, Ms. Mo is also my mentor. Um, <laughs> totally awesome. Surprising. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> totally awesome lady and an amazing designer and person. Um, so I guess, yeah, I just, I'm like thinking about that mentorship aspect, you know, thinking mm -hmm. about all the different talks that I've, I've seen over the weekend mm -hmm. and how a lot of people have expressed that, that mentorship piece, you know, and I think it's interesting, um, like we don't have just like a mentorship program, but I kind of think it might be something we should look into because I'm thinking like that's one of the most like fundamental pieces of finding your footing and kind of having that direction. Like it's, it's the difference between just talking to an, an open chat room <laughs> yeah. and having someone to ask all of those questions to that you're like, is this a dumb question or is it what I, you know, other people are going to know mm -hmm. and I'm going to look a certain way or whatever it might be. So I just, I really feel like that mentorship is important part. It was okay. like a huge part of why I stuck around. So just hearing this through all, like it's kind of a reoccurring theme. Yeah. Um, and a lot of, a lot of uh, the people here have had a chance to do outreachy. So there's been at least a handful of us five six which is really cool so we know for sure that that's a, a great way to bring ladies into fedora um so we've been reading this script really i'm sure you've seen it <laughs> yeah um and the first part being in your native tongue or uh if you wanted to speak in czech that would yeah. be cool too <laughs> I mean, I can. I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> what language will you be speaking? Russian. Right, right. We did. So, Alexandra yesterday also spoke in Russian. Yes. Not that you can't also speak in Russian, but maybe you could do two versions for us one in Czech and one in Russian. Or mm -hmm. speak in French. Miss making fun of me. Don't listen to him. <laughs> All right, I'm putting it into the chat right now. Cool. So the first line is the part you'll say in your language. And I just put an example of what yeah. you know it will say. And then the second part you say in English. So do you want two or do you want just one? Whatever you want, girl. Okay. You do it up. Do, do right. you. I'm gonna mute my cool. <clears throat> Привет, меня зовут Маша, я из России, я женщина, я говорю по-русски. We are from different countries, we speak different languages, we are of different cultures, but Fedora unites us with open source. We are Fedora. Great. That was really great. Okay, so uh, I don't see any more questions in the chat. I don't have any more for right now. I have a batch of brownies in the oven. Hey, for I cake have, with the F cake. Can I have a question? Yes. Do we have to have cake? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I I bet you already have the badge. I bet I do. I wanted to check. I need to check. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so question. <laughs> um so, <laughs> question box. <laughs> So anyway, I will be at the Cake with F Cake session half an hour with some brownies. And I hope to see everybody there, maybe with a snack or a drink, maybe some tea or something. Um, and yeah, I miss you, girl. I wish I could give you a hug right now. Aww. Virtual hug. Virtual hug. <laughs> Love you. And I'll see everybody soon. Bye.